So what would you accomplish in life if failure wasn't possible? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm super excited to be here again today with you and let's dive right in. Today I want to talk about fixed mindset versus growth mindset. How your fixed beliefs limit you from achieving your dreams, thinking that you are the way you are and that's it. Nothing could be changed about that because that's what kind of person you are. When in reality, the world is missing out on you. You could be contributing so much more, but because you're limiting yourself, you're not even trying. So I want to note here that I'm not implying that if you're not a hero for society, you're a bad person. Not at all. You can contribute zero kindness or zero deeds to humanity as long as you do that because that's your own conscious decision and not a limiting belief. And that's fine. That's perfectly good. I have a problem with you thinking that you're not smart enough, that you're not good enough, that you're not strong enough. I, I have a huge problem with that because you're doing such a disservice to yourself and the world. Imagine you're a baby, you're crawling around and you want to try to walk and you get up, you make your first step, your second step, and then you fall down. And then you get up again, you make another step, two steps, and then you fall down and you do it like 10 times and you turn around and say, ah, okay, you know what? This is not for me. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. I'm just not built for this. And I'm so tiny. Look at all these people who are walking around. They're so tall. They're so strong. There's no way I will ever be able to walk. Isn't that going to be stupid or what? If you will notice that somebody has that kind of thinking, you're going to go nuts. You're going to, you want to try to shake them and say, Hey, no, like don't give up. You must try it again because that's not true. That's not who you are. It's just your circumstances right now because you just need to put a little bit more effort in it and you're totally going to be walking and running and do all these crazy stuff that, that is possible. So the same thing is true if you have a fixed mindset. I want to make sure that you understand that part because there's almost nothing that you cannot achieve if you have a growth mindset. It, it will just literally change your life. So what can you do to change your mindset? Well, these are a couple of things that you could. Try not to freeze when life throws a challenge at you. Try to look at this as an exercise, almost the same as you were learning how to walk. Try to engage in deep concentration. And deep concentration, not about the problems themselves, but solutions. Neurons in your brain and your spinal cord are developing a myelin sheath. They're wrapping around with this fatty type of tissue that acts as an insulator and it transmits signal much, much faster, up to 10 times faster. So you can imagine all this information because you're engaging in a deep concentration, your brain is now able to communicate much, much faster and transmit and get information back. So this is proof that you can actually improve your brain. Uh, like neuroplasticity is a real thing. It means that your brain is plastic, that it's not rigid, and you can actually improve your brain. But if your limiting belief is that your brain is what it is, your intelligence is what it is, and you cannot change it, then it's it's even harder to try. It does, it's not even worth to try because what's the outcome? You already know. Well, you suck. You're not intelligent. You're just a dummy. And it's not even worth working on that problem. If you ask me though, you don't even need this. Like most individuals, most of you are extremely bright, extremely smart individuals who are just not believing in yourselves. The only limiting belief you have is because you were prey of this media or Facebook ads, uh, all these other people that are super smart and super successful and everything is amazing in their life, which is not true. And when you go back to yourself, looking at yourself, well, you're just plain old loser. You're just a dummy. Like how come you can't figure out how to be this successful, rich, fit, 
and living this amazing lifestyle, well, you must be a dummy. And that's where the problem is. That's where your fixed mindset limits you. I'm not here to tell you that you are the smartest person. I'm not here to tell you that you can become the richest person. That's just not going to be true. And I don't think so. I mean, I don't think that is uh, the reality. However, I do believe that you can grow from where you are now to where you want to be. That's super obvious to me. Most people don't even live up to their true potential. Well, simply because you're judging yourself based on your past performance and you're underestimating this little tiny increments and growth mindset and compounding effect. Another important thing is don't expect results right away. If you are expecting results right away, it makes you very fragile because you try something a couple of times, it's not giving you the results that you wanted and that's it. it. It just breaks you. It breaks your motivation, breaks your drive and that's it, you give up. But the problem is that this setback is not a description of you or your intelligence. It's a description of the problem itself. That means that that's just like a tougher problem. And that's so sad how some people, some kids think that oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a dummy versus someone who is not really talented in anything, but determined and knows that the only thing that is necessary is just a grind. You grind, 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 and that will happen. The result, the outcome will be just as you expected or even better if you just give it enough time. So when life gives you that kind of tough problem, instead of thinking that there's nothing you can do and you're not smart enough for the problem, you can tell yourself, you, well, you're not smart enough yet. And this is the key. Like this is the absolute most important key in this whole concept. The word yet. You're not smart enough yet. You're not strong enough yet. But there is a way to be that strong, to be that smart. Another very important part in this concept is not to pay too much attention to what other people think of you. And I know this is very hard. Um, it's not easy to disregard because we're, we're humans and we are paying attention to what other humans are thinking of us. And that's deeply ingrained in our behavior pre-modern humans when we were part of a tribe when we were even hunters and gatherers we could not afford to not care about what other people think of you well because you could end up dead right uh, when you were part of a tribe and your tribe hunted down an animal you know if they think that you're not a good member of the of that community well you might end up without food for the rest of the I don't know rest of the winter and then you're screwed well luckily we're not in those times now and honestly it doesn't even matter that much what other people think of you especially when it comes to those like small tiny things that we're concerned about if you will stop thinking about that part and concentrate about the problem it might actually become a little bit more fun because even if you're failing, but still paying attention and studying, you're literally making yourself better. Like every time you attempt a new challenge, you are making yourself better. Like That's amazing. How can you not be excited about solving problems after this and be occupied about what others are thinking of you? It, you just drop it. It does not matter. Not only does it matter, nobody's really concerned about you like you think you're too important maybe and you're not like nobody cares nobody remembers it's, it's, it's just not that important it's much more rewarding if you just drop that thinking altogether and concentrate about problem solving so what are some other examples of having fixed mindset versus growth mindset so one example is as i mentioned earlier uh, that your personality, your traits, your skills, your intelligence, 
that you think are set in stone. That also works with other people. Like if you look at other person and that person is really successful, you might think that person is so much more intelligent than you are. And that person has special genetics versus to understand that that person too is just like a regular person like you started somewhere on a lower level and then worked his or her way up and that's it also another way to describe this would be oh i'm i'm bad at math or in sciences and that kind of self-talk means that i'm bad at math now i'm bad at sciences and i will always be bad at math and sciences versus not good enough yet you just have to do more research you have to spend more time with those problems and you'll be good at math you'll be good in sciences this could translate also in fitness and health if you think oh i'm i'm a i'm a big person and some people really believe that they're just fat people i mean that that's just mind blowing and and it's sad because that's not true you can you can just look at it that that's what kind of shape you're in now but that has nothing to do what's gonna be tomorrow or after two years it's totally up to you and you have total control over it yes genetics have some role in it but it's definitely not the entire thing you can totally have a great body when all of your relatives don't simply because you have growth mindset and you look at it as a problem point a where you start point b where you want to be and how to get there a lot of people adopt this kind of fixed mindset in financial area in their lives also like i'm a poor person or we're a poor family and they don't even spend any time thinking how to come out of poverty and they just go on with their poor lives because they think that that's, that's who they are. That's, that it's fixed and it's not possible to come out of it. And same is true in relationships. You may be the person who messed up in a relationship and now you think, oh, I'm, I'm just bad at relationships or I always mess up with people. I always mess up with my partner. Well, no, you could actually adopt a growth mindset and think of it as, all right, so what can I learn from my previous relationship? What can I improve? What can I fix or what kind of problems can I avoid from the mistakes in my previous relationship? All right, so let's consider an outcome now. All those problems that were around you, that were choking the hell out of you, are almost like free life courses now. Gifts in disguise that you could just choose and pick which area to transform now. How to become best version of yourself. Those challenges are now exciting instead of being something that you're afraid of. All right, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you sticking around. I hope you got something out of this. Please smash that like button, subscribe. It really means a lot. Be resilient, keep grinding, and I will see you again next time.